What's going on everybody? It's Solomon here with Eastern Florida Pythons and today we're out in the shop uh, because we are going to build ourselves a rodent or a, a mouse breeder cage and I wanted to kind of show you guys how I make them. Um, I'll show you what they look like real quick so you can get an idea how that goes. You know, just these little things. All right, they're super easy. Uh, the little mice do really well in them. Um, the same general premise as these little mouse breeder cages that you get. Uh, just a DIY version, and it's a lot cheaper. Okay, so I hope you guys stay tuned. It's going to be a great video. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button and maybe hit that, that notification bell so you guys know when I upload videos, okay? Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and start out. These are the tubs that I am using. These are just regular little Sterilite um, eight quart tubs, uh, no lids. These are usually, I've actually found these at Walmart in the uh, uh, the, the dish dish aisle because I guess a lot of people, you put these in, in their sinks to wash their dishes and stuff. Um, but what you want to make sure you do is get the ones that have a completely level top, all right? Because eventually we're going to take those cages over there and turn them into a mouse rack. Um, but these will work for now. So flat top tubs, you don't want any real lips or edges or anything on the inside of them that they could chew. Um, I will tell you that these personally probably could be chewed. Uh, these little lips on the inside, but so far so good. Um, and I do check them every day, so uh, they're, they're doing all right. So that's what we're gonna start out with, and it's super simple. So what I have is, and you can use any kind of wood you want, but I have these little tiny, uh, actually just little steaks, like tomato steaks, right? Um, super simple. What I do is I go ahead, I don't even have to really measure too much, okay? So I just go ahead and I lay this down like this, give myself just a little extra space, all right? Like that. And then I just, with my pen, just mark an area somewhere like right here. And I'll give myself some space down at the bottom. And that's it. Then we go ahead and cut that, that piece. The mark. So here's the mark. We'll go ahead and cut that piece and uh, then we'll make another one, same length, uh, and then we'll do the sides and I'll show you how I put those together in a second. Alright, so I got the uh, two side pieces done. The gist of this is you want the cover or the um, the wire to fit right over the top on the outsides of these things. So they don't have to be exact. You can make them a little bit wider, so they're not, there's like an edge between them. Whatever you want to do, this is just how I do it. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and set this in here, kind of make it as as level as you want or as uh, as as good as we can. It doesn't have to be exact again. So, uh, and again, just give yourself a little bit of space. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is this is for mice. All right, just make yourself a mark. There you go, like that, and then cut yourself two of those. That's all you gotta do. All right. So. All right, so I got these uh, pieces cut out here. Um, my two two pieces for the ends. Uh, now I'm not gonna worry about this end here. So what I'm gonna do is I use a little brad nailer. Uh, again, doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna go ahead and pop these right on the top here all right just pop one to kind of hold it so it stays right all right same thing on this end make sure this thing is working it's somewhat lined up if you can doesn't have to be perfect again it's a mouse tank mouse cage, boom, there we go, I'll go ahead and just 
twist this just a little bit better. There we go. One, two. Make sure this is somewhat okay. Boom. All right. You don't have to use a bread nailer. You can use screws, but make sure you drill, pre-drill holes so you don't split the wood. Um, I use a brad nailer because honestly it's just fast and easy. All right, so now we got this perfect little uh, little outline here. So I have the other piece here, which is going to go on the end. The thing is, this is a lot longer and taller than I really want to. I want to make sure that this is going to work out nice and pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the table saw here. All right. Take this top piece off. We're gonna go ahead and put the tub in there, just like that. Figure out where the edge, how much we want to take off. And it doesn't have to be exact, right? Okay, we'll just do it like this. Again, it's not gonna be perfect, and it doesn't have to be. It's a mouse, mouse thing. Go ahead and turn the table saw on. Square it up. That's And you can be more exact if you want to, but I just don't, because I just don't have that time, that kind of time, I guess, for patience. Uh, no, I mean, I do a lot of other woodworking and stuff, and I do a lot more um, when I do, like, legit stuff, but for the, just something like this, um, it just doesn't have to be that perfect. All right, so then all we got to do is just tap it on the top. that. Same thing on the other side. All right, there we go. Now we got our outline. Fits perfectly right over the top, just like that. All right, next step is easier step. Well, it's, it's the part that I hate the most, and that's where we're going to actually put the wire. So we're going to use quarter inch stainless steel hardware cloth and we're gonna attach it to uh, the top or the bottom, whichever one side we want um, of this. Uh, you can use staples, I use screws, cause that's what I got, I don't have a, a real nice stapler. Um, and that's it, and I'll, I'll, I'll come back when I get the part finished and you guys can see what that looks like. All right, everybody, so we went ahead and finished all this. So we got the screen on. Um, the screen that's closest to you when you put it on there, whichever side you've got the screen on the outside, that's going to be your topper for this. Alright, so what it does is, the cool thing is, it just fits right on the top like that. It's, it's loose, but it's easy to get on. Now, there's not a lot of weight on there, so you would expect maybe they could push out. I mean, mice aren't that strong, but uh, let me show you how we're going to fix that. Now, the screen on the top is where the food and they're going to get their water from. Uh, they actually eat through the screen. Uh, remember, this is quarter inch um, hardware cloth or stainless steel metal mesh. You don't want to use half inch because baby mice potentially could crawl through it. So I don't think they're going to, but we don't want to make that choice. All right, so uh, the next task we're going to do is we're going to build a quick little feeding station real quick um, to allow for the food and the water, and I'll show you how that's done in just a second. Alright everybody, so we got a, went ahead and got this all, all set up, we're ready to go ahead and build our feeding and watering station. Um, what this thing is for is it actually just kind of makes it a little, little more, um, uh, honestly organized. <laughs> it keeps the food kind of all in one area. Now the way this is going to work is the, the mice are actually going to eat through this screen. They can actually get a hold of the food and eat it through there. Um, so it just saves them from, from soiling their food and everything. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to build our feeding station. So the way that we do it, super simple, is we just take some extra wood, right? We go ahead and measure it off so it is even. We go ahead and cut two pieces that are the width of it, like that. And then once we've done that, then we actually use what our, uh, 
our watering system, which I'm gonna show you how I do it, is I use these little glass jars, fill them up with water, they have plastic flat top lids, and these are important, so if you ever do this yourself, they have plastic flat top lids, and what we do is we go ahead and pop a little hole in it, okay? And then gravity actually allows the water to stay in the jar. So we go ahead and close it up once it's all filled up. Might get a drip or two, but then the gravity will actually stop the drips. And the way that the mice eat and drink is they just tap that with their tongues and the water just comes out. So you see how wet my finger's getting? Perfect, that's all, that's all you gotta do. It's super simple, it's very efficient, and very easy. So how I do this, once I have uh, my two long pieces cut, I go ahead and I set my jar in there, and then I measure uh, the, the width. So I actually, I do it on the inside of the two long pieces, um, and I, I cut three, three small pieces. So there'll be two, two end pieces, and then there's gonna be one just on the other side of this jar, okay? So you, that'll be where your water, water goes, that's where the jar goes, perfectly fine, and then the, the, the other one on this side is actually gonna be for your food. Now, this is an old piece. I already put this thing together, so I wanted to show you what it's gonna end up looking like, okay? There you go. That's it. Looks like an eight, right? Super simple. And what I did was, I went ahead and measured. These jars fit perfectly right in there. It just keeps the jar in there, and then this side will actually be where the food goes, okay? Super simple, I just brad nailed them in. They're, it's nice and strong, it's not going anywhere. Now, because this will eventually be a mouse rack, so this will actually be flipped over, and the, the tub will go up underneath here. I'll eventually put crossbars and everything to keep the food and the water separate on, on this. But because I want this to be mobile and I can take it apart, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make sure we figure out where we're gonna place this on the top of this. Now, I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you place it in the front or along the back, Whichever side is opposite of that is gonna be very light. It's very easy to move because this is gonna actually put a lot of weight on the end and can pop it up. I'm not saying the mice can push it up, but why take that risk? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put this smack dab in the center like that and that'll keep a perfect amount of weight on each side to keep it going. The way you do it, very simple. Just flip it completely over, just like that. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Uh, and all I do is I take my drill with some screws, go ahead and pre-drill them. I already have some pre-drilled holes in here. Just pop it right through the screen, just like that. Do it on the four corners of the wood, straight through the screen. Okay. Just like that, and there you go. Now, we have a feeding station for the mice. That is pretty much it when it comes to building these. Now, what I do, go ahead and throw some bedding in the tub, all right? Go ahead and get my mice when I have them in there. I don't have any put in here right now. Go ahead and get my water jar filled up. Drop that in just like that. A little bit of food. What did I do with my jar? There it is. Give myself a little bit of food. Set that right in here. And you are ready to go. You have now created yourself a nice little mouse breeding tub cage. Same general idea as the commercial ones that you can actually purchase which are like these, where they have the water bottle and the feeder on the top. Same general idea. This takes about 30 minutes. This is all scrap wood that I had, and I still have a bunch of uh, quarter inch hardware cloth from some of my previous builds that I've done. And it works just the same. And the cool thing is, now these are in their own. I can't really do a lot of modification on these. This I can. Pop this off flip this upside down, 
Other than I have the topper for my tub, my, my mouse rack when I build it. I currently have two more of these built, so eventually I will break them apart and go ahead and make my, excuse me, my mouse rack. But uh, super easy, super quick build. Um, the mice can't push it up and it's easy. All you gotta do, just lift it up, clean them out, take care of them, do whatever you gotta do. Um, now, what I do do, I do suggest if you want to, and a lot of people will agree with me, give them some kind of enrichment because these are mammals too. Uh, they need a little bit more enrichment. Um, I love using um, toilet paper rolls. I'll put those in there and they can crawl through them and hide. Uh, I give them different kinds of bedding to play in. Um, I'll make hide boxes for them so they can run around in there. Um, and I can't really do that in these, but in this, this you can because it gives them more room. Just give them some enrichment and I also give them like lots of treats. So like um, we'll use uh, sweet potatoes, carrots, just vegetables and stuff. They love that kind of stuff. Um, especially for the rats, not so much the mice, but definitely the rats. Uh, just, give, just give them some enrichment. They're not just, I mean, they're still animals, you know. Um, very cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this real quick tutorial. It's super easy, super fast. Doesn't mean all that, take all that much time. Um, if you're looking for the jars, make sure you just grab glass jars with the flat tops. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I got like 15 of them in a box. Uh, super cheap and you just fill them up every once in a while just drop them straight down on there rats Work this works with rats, too. Uh, I originally use these with rats um, I've changed over uh, for the rats Because of the babies um, it allows them that they can't reach it nearly as easy as the adults can even though they can I just went ahead and switched it over, but this is perfect for mice there you go, and uh, and I will tell you this, if you do have some babies in there that you're worried about whether or not they're going to be able to drink it, add some more bedding. Just raise the bedding up some and they'll be able to reach it. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and if you like this video, give me a like. You can give me some comments. I know this isn't perfect, but it gives you a pretty good idea on how these are built, and uh, you know, you can... You can be a little more, uh, uh, a little more precise on your measurements and all that stuff when you want to. But for for what I'm building, I'm not really worried that much about how uh, serious I am on my 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 cuts and everything. Uh, these are just for mice, and it's perfectly good. So again, real quick to the center here it makes it nice and, and level and uh, balanced. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, until next time, this is Solomon with Eastern Florida Pythons. Take care.